hasn't. It isn't like this is before. No, G2 before or the before. This has been yeah. Oh this has been God. G2, and this is Fabian. What is up, bros? Now, before we get started, I want to say a dummy thick thank you for hitting 500,000 subs. That's half a million for anyone not wanting to think too critically about numbers, and that's... That's a really big number, like compared to my town where there's a population of only 43,000 people. Well, anyways, I'm definitely going to do something special soon, but I'm not 100% sure on what that will be quite yet. But oh yes, I am also finally streaming on Twitch now too, and I want to hang out with you on the one-way camera while you stare at me as I make weird faces gaming, so come and check it out. As this video goes live, I will also be live on Twitch, so come hang out. Anyways, here's a big boy pro league tricks video, and I'll try to keep each trick fast, like 30-ish seconds, because you're all nuts. And if if you like those faster info tricks, let me know down below so I can take that into account for future vids. I just wanted to say a thank you personally since this is the first video after hitting 500,000 subscribers. Now let's get into the first trick. Can't spray through and a couple members of the stream watching. So we're going to see as they go back upstairs to the cash CCTV site on Empire's side, they lost the last round. A lot of their success came early on taking out Uno and then grabbing a second kill fairly fast. Is it going to be the case on this round? This is such an awkward angle here from Ace as he tries to repel upside down on the garage door. He's actually landing shots. Karzeka, it was 60 damage all the way up on the rafters. All right, so this first trick is going to be a genius repel trick that you can use to counter those annoying anchors that like to lie down on the clubhouse catwalk and stare through the pixel angles at the garage door for 10 years in between the catwalk ledges. By repelling upside down of the corner of the garage door extension, you can finally give yourself the advantage to win the gunfight with anyone up there. I would recommend bringing a glass or at least an ACOG operator for this one though. Now, if you guys remember back a couple of weeks ago, I told you about the sponsor of some of my videos now drinks and we got some exciting news now drinks was designed for gamers and their goal is simple it is to give us all of the performance benefits without any of the downsides of the usual energy drinks now drinks are packed with vitamins minerals antioxidants and more they are also offering anybody from the bra fan that uses the link below the coconut bogo deal where if you buy one bag you get the second bag 100 free and it was supposed to end at the end of the month but they've decided to extend this deal a few extra days so every Everyone has a chance at this special deal. My favorite flavor is the raspberry blueberry and is literally the one I was drinking while editing this video. Also, you don't even need to worry about it because this coconut bogo deal is backed by Now Drinks money back guarantee. So if you'd like to check it out, use the link below, which will also support me and help me continue to make videos like these. For one was that Empire fell off, conceded most of the site, but they knew they had the tools to work their way back if they needed. Also aware that Lestream didn't really have the tools to do much when they actually got- Number two is another really cool repel trick you can add to your arsenal and it's so simple. Instead of contesting bottom blue from inside, try repelling on the window or even upside down and breaking the top of the window to create those rare angles where you can see the enemy's feet before they can even see you. You'll see an example of that here, and if someone's simply rotating bottom blue, they can't even see the top of the window from most positions. You'll then have a chance to just straight up get a free kill without them even seeing you. You'll see the bandit bandit tricking. So you've opened up at least a vault hole that is possible for Empire to be able to work on in, and it's gonna go against them though. Dan, who's making his Pro League debut, mind you, is caught out by Uno positioned up on the rafters essentially just simply waiting a bit of dizziness there for you hopefully you don't feel motion sickness trick number three is a sick angle you can make from garage through cctv out onto the eastern roof that will almost always get opened up when you defend cash and cctv now i'm pretty sure dangleberries found this first so big shout out to you guys now if the enemy team uses a thermite then it will make it even easier for you because you can see almost the entire roof area and if they open up just a little bit like with a habana how you see in the video then you'll still win because it will make those angles again where you can see their feet but you're so high up that they won't even be able to see you unless they crouch or walk forward enough but by that time you'll have them in the dirt anyways yes necessitate a rotate from rise 
He's going to try to get back in. Shepard's just going to barrel in towards the site, finds himself right in the crosshairs of aces. And unless Scyther and Karzak are able to perform a miracle, and this is going to be all but over. Ace's position still not given away. A beautiful kill on the Scyther. And Karzeka will have to do it all himself. But he's under position. He's under fire. And Rise will put this one away. Number four is a genius shield placement that gives you a way to completely lock down anyone approaching on the catwalk and garage. By reinforcing the east wall and then leaving the west wall soft, you can place your shield facing northeast and crouch behind the bomb for this insane anchor point. No one will even be able to wall bang you from the garage because of the shield wall combo. The enemies will then be funneled down the catwalk just like in 300 into your line of sight for even more easy kills for you. to the rest of the team about where the push is coming from. Uh, it was a heavy Empire uh, office side stack there for a while, but you just you lose your manpower downstairs trying to consistently engage. Moving over to border, we saw Goga use this sneaky yokai drone throw to get it on top of the vents right over the door. You can then just leave your yokai drone up here for infinite scans on enemies that get through and you can even see the common plant spot in the corner. If you do need to deny the plant, you can just drive your drone off the vent then jump it on the ceiling to get your shots off to stop the plant from going down. And they've also been bringing quite a lot of breaching charges as well. You can yep. see the IQ and the Zofia both there, and I think they have been ro ro uh, running both of them breaching charges. So you don't, I mean, when you know you're opening uh, from above to go to below, you don't really need to bring them up. No. Out of office, Jonas will back off even further, but Fabian going on a big run out inside a ventilation window will remove Shockwave off of his repel. Now this Valkyrie camera has been used on this light pole in a few different ways and it's a good camera, but you can see it pretty easily if it doesn't land on the pole perfectly. A little twist you can add is by staying inside and throwing the camera where you see my crosshairs and getting it to land on the directional sign. That way anyone that approaches from the west spawn won't even see it. You can then use it for what Fabian was doing with it and running out to eliminate anyone repelling on west balcony. By the time they realize what's going on, it's going to be too late. So Empire not bringing Ying isn't a crazy thing, right? But now G2 aren't bringing Ying, so that's odd. And they've also brought a Capital, which Kappa doesn't care about Jaeger, yeah. so uh, it's just a bit odd. Vent and the uh, the top metal metal detectors. This is a nice angle being opened up by Joystick. He's got the bait hole down too, so he can see his opponent, but his opponent can't see him. Missed shots though. Jonas will be looking the wrong way, so another opportunity here for Joystick. He won't land the shots. Oh, finally does! Excellent gunplay there. Fabian though, elsewhere, has taken down. Sh this hallway denial trick was being used by Joystick and it is super, super clever. What you need to do in order to do this trick is reinforce the right hand side of the wall in security. Then you are going to make a decoy melee hole on the floor that you know people are gonna pre-fire as soon as they see it. Too bad for them, you're gonna have your body out of the way of those shots behind the reinforced wall while you lean left and kill them through the bullet hole you create that they can't even see even with an ACOG because you're gonna be 10 steps ahead of them. Not the not the worst thing in the world. Empire has brought an echo though, so that's not gonna be good. The the IQ will be sorely missed. Though I, I mean, Peg is probably just trying to have fun with it. Nade set up here from Fabian, and he's gonna be aiming for the player inside of that office sandwich. He will land the nade, but it must have hit something else. But oh yeah, it, maybe it hit the uh, just hit the rim there. Second one seems to have hit the rim again. So. Two missed nades from Fabian. Next up we have Fabian's grenade angle to get rid of the common mirror placement that gets used in offices. You can follow the path you see me do to parkour your way up here and then throw your grenade at a slight left angle facing just left of the east on your compass to get a perfectly placed nade to take out anyone playing mirror here or simply anchoring in offices. I think it's Uno, all the way in the basement. He could 
potentially get some opportune kills from this mo or from this position. Stiz is going to be there to greet him, but there's a uh -oh. barricade that could possibly just thwart Uno's advance. He's going to fall off for the time being. And oh, he's doing the silent walk. Yeah, he's doing the the shift W. So if you if you hold W and tap shift, you can don't tell the people how to do it. Okay. Oh no! Say goodbye to Stiz. Uno collects a second kill for the stream. All right, now I'm not even going to explain how to do this because it's a pretty blatant exploit, but I am going to make you aware of this because I don't want any of the bra fam to get snuck up on. Just keep this in mind while you're playing and don't expect to be safe if you don't hear anything. It doesn't hurt to check your flanks just in case somebody's using this. First round on their attack, Airwolf had the choice of four bomb sites, and none of them would work for them. Rizraz closing out the round, both Rizraz and Virtue, good picks and good openings, and Really? That's that's dirty. <laughs> that's a nice angle and just uh, absolute abuse of perspectives there. Really well played by Rizraz. <laughs> Now we're going to be moving over to Coastline and we got some nutty stuff to do here starting with this angle going in between the metal shelf and this box of tomatoes or apples or whatever it is. You're going to turn it into a smoothie. Now you can't ping through this angle but as you can clearly see bullets have no issues flying through here to scare the crap out of your poor victim coming through the bar or the doorway or the hallway or whatever gets in the way while you're tucked behind the shelf. It's a really really sick angle. There's a, ver there's a vertical play potential going on right now. That is also a very common uh, breach charge spot. It will allow you to play Sunrise Bar, as you can see, thanks to that uh, lifeline impact. Blaz seems aware of the player at the bottom of blue stairs. He's doing his best to pressure said player. Meepy has lost most of the health, and this engagement that was from the breaching charge that landed square on his head as he's busy checking cameras. Now, enemy will just do some more reconstruction as well as they've had to evacuate outside the site and hungry through the office wall. Fonkers and Meepy fall in tandem hungry. Now moving upstairs, we have a good way to clear out anyone that's hiding behind Sunrise Bar. There's someone anchoring down here so often and once you have top control, this is a really good way to clear them out. Because you're looking at them from above and at such a hard angle, it is difficult for whoever is below to see you. Another way to clear out from behind Sunrise Bar is to repel upside down on the hookah window and shoot through the floor of hookah if you don't think it's safe to put your precious booty inside of billiards. A 1v2, you've got Sir Boss inside of the common keg's corner, and you've got Hungry outside of the service door. Another one for Stizzy, but he's only got four bullets left in the SMG-11, and he's trying to breach open a hole to try and defuse this through the wall. Hungry rushing through, and he's able to land the shot with ease. Almost a sneaky defuse there for Stizzy. Now, trick number 12 is something that works in dozens of areas. It's not coastline specific. A while back, you used to be able to disable the diffuser from a completely different room and even from the floor below by standing on something through tiny holes as small as melee and even bullet holes. While you can't diffuse them from holes the size of bullets anymore, you can still diffuse them through relatively small holes made through soft walls even when you're not in the same room as the diffuser. This is just something to keep in mind if you're ever pinched in a situation where going into a certain room you know is going to be suicide. It is possible you could get that ninja diffuse clutch by knowing this. That's one six in a row to win seven five. So ah. Don't tell me that it's absolutely impossible. I'm not saying it's impossible. I, I'm not, and, and you're right, you're it was by Penta. G36 on Fonkers. He prefers the ACOG, that is clear. There's a mixed opinions on that right now. Trick number 13 is what we'll just call the poor man's purple tarps angle. It's a very safe angle because there's not much room to get shot back at, but it also doesn't have the power level of holding the purple tarps angle. Still though, this is a very, very strong angle to take out defenders rotating in the northwest part of Hookah. If you do have a teammate that is able to plant through the doorway of Hookah, this is also a nightmare for defenders to get to because you will take their heads right off possible but i'm not gonna put words in their mouth it's just pretty obvious based on what we've seen so far yeah i just i don't remember if it was them or not yeah i apologize oh well, they're there fun he has a really good memory when uh fun tends to remember a lot more things than like 
For trick number 14, we're heading over to Consulate, where we can see how crazy good Valkyrie's cameras blend into the top rims of certain rooms here. Lobby and admin office are the examples we see Wilkie use in this pro league game, and a little edit you can do for the Visa cam is to throw it in the curve of the wall, because this area for whatever reason is so much darker than the other parts of the ledge. You can see that even looking straight at it, it's really, really hard to see. Drone himself in, and then he dies. I mean, I expect him to die. He should have died there, but why? That's the crazy thing. And even like, okay, Penta versus Lestream. Ooh, nice shot there from Cantor Ketty. Corey, again, getting shut down early. Ooh. Cantor Ketty takes out Cry, and that's two for him. He's uh, he's having a good round so far. Now, moving on to upstairs, we all know about the angle in meeting room to watch the front door, but did you know you can do something similar to watch for anyone approaching the wall to repel? This angle inside of waiting room is crazy strong and it again creates one of those angles where the enemy can't even see you until it's too late. You'll see from this example that Dan's just straight up cutting my toes off and I can't even see him. If anyone sprints into your view from here, they will also be dead by the time that you even see their heads with no hope of them seeing you. Alright everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you all for checking this video out. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. If you hated it, go ahead and leave a thumbs down. Thank you all for 500 K, I can't say how much I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video and on stream. I love you guys all. Peace.